Uh, welcome to Peru. Oh. Bienvenido a Perú, te estoy diciendo. Gracias. Hey guys, so we're always talking about how to memorize stuff and remember stuff. I am at Machu Picchu right now in Peru. I'm going to show you today how I am going to remember this experience. My little dog is my constant. Take time to notice the differences in the culture. Mmm, baked guinea pig. Baked guinea pig. My little dog is my constant. The next thing that you can do to remember your vacation is to take pictures. But also, don't take too many pictures because research has shown that people who take so many pictures will remember less. Because when you're taking pictures, you're telling your brain, hey, I don't need to remember this. I'm just, I'm gonna have it on a photograph. So if you spend your whole vacation taking pictures, the irony is you may re remember less. However, you want to take some pictures because you're looking at them later on will help you remember your vacation. So it's a fine line. It is a fine line. My little dog is my constant. Next, send a postcard to yourself. What is that gonna do? It's gonna do two things. Number one, you're writing down your, hey, look, I guess what I experienced today, I saw this really great historical artifact. I saw Machu Picchu today, and this is, and it was so awesome, it was 1400 years old. You're gonna remember more because you're writing it down and then you stick it in the mail and mail it to yourself. And then when you get home, you get a postcard in the mail. Peru! Awesome! Postcard from Peru, gonna go right here. And you remember more of your vacation. So sending a postcard to, really, to yourself is a really good memory technique. My little dog is my constant. If you're gonna collect something, it might as well be money. Coins, Peruvian coins, uh, 1960, 1964, 1982. It only cost me 30 soles, which is $10. I'll take it. My little dog is my constant. So, buy a souvenir that you're gonna put in your living room or in your bedroom, and you'll see it every day, and you will remember about your vacation. I just asked the guy who sold it to me to tell me a little bit about it. This is a condor, condor head, and a puma body. And then every time I see it, I'll remember the story he told me and remember more about the culture and my vacation. My little dog is my constant. I am taking a picture of this historic wall, but then I'm putting my phone away and remembering to be mindful of the experience, being mindful of being right here. Because if I just take the pictures and walk away, the odds of me remembering it are actually less than if I took no pictures and just appreciated and enjoyed it. So I do both to maximize my recall. My little dog is my constant. Next, talk to the locals and let them tell you about the history. I found this guy to tell me the history of this wall right here. Because we have before they have bird clays and that small one, 8.6, 8.7. And you see here, nothing happened here. But you have to see this wall from here. This is the copy. This is Inca original and this is the copy of the Spanish. So Spanish, they try to do something. Well, like Incas, they try to copy, but the Spanish was lazy, make his square. They use it modern adobe, but Incas, they do need nothing. Stone over stone. Here, they don't have holes or something else. That's why we say that conversion was made by the Incas, and behind us was made by the Incapables. <laughs> you see, look, it's just coming down. <laughs> And then as you walk away from them, 
ask yourself, what was the two or three main points that I really want to remember from what they told me? And just as you're walking back or you're driving back or you're in the taxi back to your hotel, think about those main points. Be mindful of them. One of the local people here told me a story about how there is a snake, a picture of a snake made out of stone in the wall. Here is the picture of the snake I was just telling you about. How crazy is that? Puma and a snake. Yeah. There's the head of the snake. It goes down. That's the snake. The puma, there's the tail. That's the tail. This is its foot. This is its body. The leg goes down here. And its head over here. It's supposed to look like that. My little dog is my constant. Now imagine the snake comes to life and starts eating those people. I imagine that snake comes to life and attacks me. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna remember that. Make the events of Make the historical events that you're learning about on your vacation or the, or the, the, the architecture, make it come to life and make it, make it interact with you in a bizarre, crazy way. You will remember it more other than just standing there looking at a picture of the snake. Oh, okay, I got it. There's a lot of historical significance to that snake. It's an important part of the city. So I want to remember it but I have to have a plan to remember it. My little dog is my constant. Next, pick out a detail or two that you really want to focus on for the trip. For example, this one, it really stuck out to me, the amount of dogs in this town of Cusco, Peru. I mean, I, saw, I was like, man, I'm just gonna take pictures of, I love dogs. Look at this, just as I'm talking, not a setup. My little dog is my constant companion. She skips and jumps when I come home. My little dog is an angel sent from heaven. She comes running down the mountain next to me. My little dog is my constant companion. She skips and jumps when I come home. My little dog is an angel sent from heaven. She comes running down the mountain. She comes swimming in the ocean next to me. My little dog is my constant companion. Those dogs just used the crosswalk. Did I just see that? My little dog is my constant companion. So take time to find a detail about your trip or details that you really like. This one, there's a lot of dogs. That may be kind of some, something silly to remember about a trip, but this is my trip. I can pick whatever I want. So I'm looking specifically for dogs and taking pictures of them. For you, you might like the architecture or the, or the food or the plants, the, the trees, the people. The, their accent. So you start looking for it and by looking for it you're going to be paying attention more and you're going to remember it more. I love that dog. I'm sorry I gotta go back and take some pictures of this dog. My little dog is my constant. Travel with friends. Here's a picture of me and Grant and Brian. It's a shared experience. When you share the experience 
you can talk about the trip and relive the experience. So go with somebody, take a friend with you or a family member, share the experiences. This was in Bangkok, Thailand. We took a trip to Thailand a few years ago and we still talk about it today. And they will remember things that I forgot and I'll remember things that they forgot. Shared experiences improve your memory. My little dog is my constant. Now, if you really want to get a souvenir and really want to remember the vacation, maybe you could get a... Tattoo. <clears throat> well, I didn't get a tattoo. My excuse is, I'm leaving tomorrow and I don't have the time. Uh, I found a really cool one in there though, so who knows? Maybe I just chickened out. My little dog is my constant companion. She skips and jumps when I come home. My little dog is an angel sent from heaven. So guys, that's my tips on how to remember your vacation. I bought this in Peru. I bought, here's the, here's the souvenir that I bought in Peru, the foot. And here is my postcard from Peru. I travel a lot and I want to remember a lot. If you liked watching my travel video here on tips on how to remember your vacation, I do appreciate any thumbs up that you get. Comment below with what was your favorite way that I told you to remember your vacation or comment with a way that you like to remember your vacations and your experiences that I didn't put. So I love comments. I love the thumbs up. If you get a chance to share this on social media or anywhere, I always appreciate that. Let me know if you like this kind of video. If you did, I'll do more of them. If you don't, I won't. Uh, down below in the description, I will put a link to my memory course, blackbeltmemory.com. When you complete the course, you earn a black belt in memory. It's really cool. You can put the certificate on your wall. So get yourself a black belt in memory. It's a nice thing to have. It's fun and you're going to learn a lot. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peru! Machu Picchu. My little dog is my constant companion. She skips and jumps when I come home. My little dog is an angel sent from heaven. She comes running down the mountain next to me.